Hey everyone, Jim DeGram with rcgroups.com. And at Joe Nall this year, I saw a killer new cell plane called the Radiant XL from Horizon. It has an eight and a half foot wingspan. It is huge. So the other day, there was a giant box at my door, and I don't get a lot of giant boxes. I was really excited. And um, I'm working on the review, but I did an unboxing video because I figured a plane this big, uh, what do you get? So in this, uh, Video that we're about to look at, I pull everything out of the box. It's the first time for me to see what we were getting. And uh, in a future video, we'll do a flight video and I'll talk a little bit about the build. But holy cow, man, the build went by in like 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes only because I had to take photos as I went for the review. But what a sweet building airplane, looking airplane, massive airplane. It's very exciting. Um, I'm excited to get it out in the sky and see what she does. So let's jump right in and take a look at what's in the box of the Radian XL. So here's a wing. Another wing. And the fuselage. Oh, look at this. All pre-built. Servos, receiver. Well, you can see all that in there. Battery holder has everything. We'll come in and take a close up at that. So everything's pre-built, plastic housing, servos installed, control horns, everything's ready to go. AS3X is pre-programmed the minute you uh, get it going with your transmitter at rocks. We have a battery holder, ESC, motor, everything's there. It's a proven power system. In the bottom, has a little outlet here. Nice little uh, plastic piece right here for landing on rough surfaces. And then the whole nose is uh, plastic as well. And then we have a sticker sheet. So then we have a black canopy here. And then... We have parts and pieces to put it all together. Have a manual. We have a rudder and an elevator. So those were just the ex the winglets, the wing tips, and then this is the centerpiece of the wing. Servo in the middle. More supports running through the wings, wing tubes. I'm sure it's carbon fiber and it's a spar, but it's also a wing tube. And we have an orange dot here. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe to designate that as the front. And then the spoilers, I guess, are right here. And then there are a few other parts I'm going to leave right here. But I did take a photo. So here's the spars and the uh, elevator wing tube, carbon fiber rods, all the screws, bind plug, everything you need. Here's a nice shot of the nose with the foldable prop and the motor. And then the super cool spoilers, which are on a, I have it on a three-way switch. So it's down, up, and all the way up. And these aren't crazy spoilers. They're just going to slow you down a little bit for landing so you don't glide right on past yourself. And there's the wing all put together, 8.5 feet. It's huge. It's like a dang surfboard. So uh, for transportation, you could leave the center wing on the plane and pull off the wing tips. You could pull the whole wing off. That's how I'm going to try to do it. And that's essentially it. So my next question is how long will it take to build? I have to think, not long at all. And then, of course, everything will bind and fly to my handy DX9 transmitter. And there you go. That's what's in the box.
I had to see it. Uh, next, I'll do the build, and we'll probably do that in photos, and then when I'm done, I'll do a video just going over everything. All right.